This is the Cardano CLI tutorial. The ROS client for the Cardano blockchain. I'm Alejandro Garcia, Education Assistant at IHK. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to create a new wallet, sending ADS to it, and recovering a Revalus wallet. So, in order to create a new wallet, we need to synchronize with the mainnet. And you, you saw in the previous video by Lars how to do that. So, and you're right, you can see that it's we have the mainnet updated. Next, we're going to create a new wallet. It ask, it's asking for a recovery password. The recovery password is uh, might be left empty, which we will do. Now, you need a spending password. So, you can see now the demonstration wallet has been created successfully. Now, uh, we need to copy the, the mnemonics and save this in a safe place. In the meantime, I'm going to leave them right here. Okay, now that you have the mnemonics, you can uh, let's create let's attach our wallet to the mainnet. Now you can see the wallet was successfully attached to the blockchain. Now let's uh, synchronize the wallet to double check that it's empty. Of course, it, it will be. synchronizing the wallet so, and you can see the you, you can see the status of the wallet you see it's a uh, zero it's a demo wallet it's zero and it's synced to this block okay now how we go about um, receiving ADAS in order to receive ADAS we will need to create an address for this wallet and a wallet can have many addresses at long at the time in different times. So, so let's uh, create a, a new address. It asks for the wallet password, and this this is the address that we will require. Now, with this address we can go and send it and send it uh, some ADAS, for example, to, to Bitrex. Uh, let me see. For example, in Bitrex, there is an exchange that supports ADAS. We can go and send it, and send it for example, here. Let's see, I am going to send 7.2, 7.9, 7 ADAS which is going to be minus the transaction fee and uh, let's go with the some ADA for example let me type my my two-factor okay and now is withdrawing some ADA well now we will need to go ahead and again uh, update uh, with the blockchain so 
so here it's updating let's uh, try to synchronize again the wallet Let's try to synchronize the wallet again. There it is. And let's see the web status. Still not. And uh, another pull. Yeah, okay, that's updated. Create the password again. And now, now the transaction has been true. And we have 10.7 ADAS in uh, our wallet. Now, how how do we go about doing the opposite operation? How do we go about sending ADAS? Well, in order to send ADAS, we need to create a transaction. Transaction is created with the command transaction new testnet. So with the command transaction new mainnet. Okay, with this we can see that in the staging variable in the staging variable we have the ID for a new transaction. This ID will help us in the following steps to create the transaction. Okay, the next thing we will do is add a recipient for the transaction and send the amount in Lovelace. Lovelace is the minimum amount of ADA that exists. One million, one million lobelized is equal to one ADA. In this case, we're going to say 500,000 lobelized to this address. And that should be, um, you know, we're just sending one ADA, half an ADA. Okay. Now, we also need to we also need to create uh, an address 
that is going to be, be the recipient of the remainder of the ions. For example, here I'm sending half an eta and, uh, and I have 7.7 .7 eta. So I need the, the remaining 7.2 eta's will need to go to uh, another eight, another address under my control. For example, here I, I, I could use, I could create a new address Let's call it my address equals Cardano CLR And Okay, now that we have this address, And we have it in a variable, then we can proceed to to add, uh, add the remainder. So what we do, we execute Cardano's transaction add change, stay in my address. And then we need to calculate the transaction fees, for example, here with the input select state. There it goes. We can review the transaction as it, it's, uh, it's currently. So with that, with your transaction status, and here you can see, uh, we are sending half an ADA to this address. We are sending the remainder 7.3 to my the address that I control, and we are paying a fee of uh, 16 cents of ADA to, uh, to to the transaction. Okay. It's very important to check to double check the change address because uh, if if you don't set up a change address, it can result in double ADA. Okay, now that we have verified the transaction, uh, that we have reviewed, we can fi finalize it with the transaction finalize. And we can sign it with transaction sign. OK. 
okay and we can finally send the transaction to the blockchain the transaction has been sent if we go in Bitrex we can go and see that here in pending deposits it's not nothing because we need to go and update the blockchain Okay. the way here you see there is my transaction for Alphaneda and it has already 6 of 20 confirmation needed to in order to be deposited. And that's how you go about um, receiving and sending data. Again, it's very important that you add a change address that will receive the remainder of your ADA. If not, this will result in lost funds. Now, Another thing that you can do with uh, the Cardano CLI is recovering a, pre a previous develop wallet. So for example, uh, let's create a, a new wallet called my recovered wallet. It's asking for our recovery password. We won't set anyone. A spending password. Okay, my recovery wallet is created. Now, we will need to create this command, the Cardano CLI wallet recover the Adalus seed derivation scheme, wallet scheme random, and the name of the wallet. And here, it asks for mnemonics. Here I have a, a wallet that I created previously in Daedalus. So let's uh, go ahead. Of course, you should never share your mnemonics with anyone. 
but in this case for the tutorial purposes of course I can show you how it works how we look it look will look when you do it Okay, while well, it might recover, while well, it successfully recover, and now we can we can attach the wallet to mainnet and synchronize it. While well, it successfully attached to the blockchain, synchronize it. things to remember is you always need to add a change address that will reset remainder your ADAS and never share your mnemonics and keep keep them in a safe place. Perfect. The synchronization has finished. Now let's look at the status of the recovery wallet. You see, this wallet has 466 uh, ADAS, which is uh, why hiding there for a long time. Don't worry, those ADAS won't be there by the time you watch this video. All right. Uh, hopefully, you will enjoy using the Cardano CLI as much as I, I do. I I really like it. I since I prefer the command line interface for in general. Okay, see you next time.